Thank you. Hopefully you guys can hear me. Um, she started cleaning the proofer when she realized it was a quarter past eight, a few more hours until closing. Time to finally go home to her family. Let me fill you in. She's about a month and a half into her first real job as a sandwich artist at Subway. 16, young and naive, but all the confidence in the world, working 10 hours alone, though this is for sure against labor laws. We can't tell for sure if she knows or not, but nothing is stopping her from getting a check. At this age, most girls have their sweet 16, while she's, on the other hand, just wanted to work and make money. One gloomy Thursday morning, one more day until payday, she gets a call from Dawn, her supervisor, in the morning for her to come in to work to close. In this young girl's mind, she's saying hell no because she was exhausted from last night's close and didn't even make it to school that morning. But of course, she agreed to the shift. I told you, she likes them paychecks. 2 p.m., time to clock in. Things ran more smoothly than she expected them to. Time flew after their huge lunch rush and her coworkers, one by one, slowly began to punch out. Daydreaming about what tomorrow will hold after she's let out of class. Maybe hit the mall with friends, grab food. Excuse me, is anyone there? I would like a dang sandwich. Wow, 10 o'clock, almost time to lock the doors. Hello, welcome to Subway. What can I do for you? Uh, yes, I would like a foot-long BMT on honey oat, please. Extra mayo in the works. Okay, sounds good, she says as she slices the bread to prepare his sandwich. Would you like this toasted? Yes, please. Okay, no problem, sir. Is there any more sandwiches for today? No, he explains calmly with a smirk. That'll be all. After that was a strange, awkward silence that filled the front counter. Beep, beep. Yummy, that smells delicious. Don't forget extra mayo. I'll even take mayo packets if you have them. Not a problem. As she uniquely wraps his sandwich, she gets chills that ran through her body, feeling as though something was wrong, but she ignored it and proceeded to check him out. That will be ten fifty. Are you paying cash or card? Cash, obviously, if he would have said card, the draw wouldn't have opened. Smart. Leave the draw open, you stupid bitch. She screams and immediately hits the red panic button. Don't move.